Marks, Mississippi is set to make history as the future site of the National Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame. Now discussions to build that facility went on for two years, but as WRG's April Thompson reports, a location, support of city and county leaders, and a half million dollar state grant will move that project from the drawing board to reality. Delta Blues man James Super Chicken Johnson is certain Marks, Mississippi, in Quitman County, is the perfect place for the National Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame. This is where the blues live. This is where it lies. This is where it comes from. So we got to pick a spot for it. So that's a good spot. Because I was born in Quitman County, too. Johnson and other legendary musicians from Quitman County, like the late Charlie Pride, will find their faces and bios in the Hall of Fame for visitors to see and learn from. And they will certainly be a part of the Hall of Fame. Velma Wilson, director of Quitman County Tourism and Development, has always wanted to share the county's rich music roots and realized its connection to the Poor People's Campaign in 1968 made Marks the right fit for the Hall of Fame. Especially since music and civil rights kind of influenced each other. The music influenced civil rights back in, you know, back in the day in the 60s. Mark's city board has donated five acres at its industrial park for the Hall of Fame, with hopes the surrounding property will blossom with retail businesses. Wilson says there's a lot of work to be done regarding the county's infrastructure and amenities for future tourists, like a hotel. Currently, in all of Quitman County, there is not a single hotel, so a hotel chain is needed uh, as we grow. The Hall of Fame promises to be a high interactive virtual reality experience. This is the birthplace of the blues, you know. I mean, there's a lot of other places claiming to be the birthplace, but the Delta is really the birthplace of the blues. April Thompson, WREG News Channel 3. Mark's making its mark with the Hall of Fame. Groundbreaking, by the way, for the National Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame will be September 30th at 10 a.m. on Rogers Road in Mark's.